Last year's pandemic was one of the greatest tragedy in our lifetime. As a doctor, it was even more daunting for me. Up till date, I've taken at least 7,000 samples from potential COVID-19 candidates. This means I've exposed myself to the possibility of being infected by this virus at least 7,000 times. And till to date, I'm grateful to say that I've not been infected by this disease. So COVID-19 is not going to go away anytime soon. Of course, wearing protective gear, wearing a mask, keeping social distance, disinfecting regularly is one of the surest way of reducing the possibility of being infected by this disease. And the it also all boils down to keeping our immune system well and strong. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vic. I'm a doctor who is currently running his own practice here in beautiful Sabah, Malaysia. So in this video, I would like to share with everyone a method that I've created for myself, which I call the Magdis method, which I believe have kept my immune system well and strong. This method consists of five simple things that I've been doing almost every single day. So the first thing is meditation, especially mindful meditation. Meditation has sort of become a worldwide phenomenon in the last several years and a lot of studies has been made into this field showing various benefits. One of the major benefits that meditation gives us is that it lowers down our stress hormone, it improves the number of immune cells and activity in our body and number three, it reduces cellular aging by enhancing an activity called the telomerase activity. Second thing is exercise. Exercise has major benefit on our immune system. Number one, it reduces a stress hormone which is called cortisol in our body. Cortisol is a naturally occurring stress hormone which weakens our immune system. Secondly, it kind of trains our immune system to become more vigilant. Just take this as an energy Analogy. It is how an army soldier is trained to become a Navy SEAL commando. I try my level best to exercise 5 to 6 times a week. Each of these exercises lasts at least 20 minutes. Most of my workouts are called prisoner workouts. I do this high intensity interval workout in a confined space. Most of the time it's burpees, push ups and high jumps and high knees. The third thing is called cold shower. A study in 2014 showed that cold immersion actually helps the body to release adrenaline which in turn reduces the inflammatory reaction towards infection which is one of the major cause of death in COVID-19 patients. Another bonus study in 2016 is that taking cold shower, participants were 29% less likely to be absent from work. I usually take 1-2 to two minutes of cold shower every single morning. The fourth thing is vitamin D. Vitamin D has tremendous impact on our immune system. Vitamin D is synthesized by our skin after being exposed to the sun. That's why we see in four season countries during winter time when the exposure of sun is less, we see higher amount of respiratory tract infection. A study that was done in 2020 reveal that people who are chronically deficient of vitamin D are 80% more likely to contract COVID-19 infection compared to those who have sufficient vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is usually acquired by exposing ourselves to especially the morning sun at least 10 to 20 minutes. But if you're in a winter country, the exposure to sun is less likely. We can actually go to our doctor and get our vitamin D levels checked. And if it's inadequate, we can supplement ourselves with vitamin D as per doctor's guidance. And number five is sleep. Sleep is often over looked in our lives. We sleep at least one third of our lives. So during sleep, our body undergoes reconstructive and reparative process to better prepare us the next morning. It does this by reducing our stress hormones and also improves and increases the immune cells for us to have a better immune defense when we get up the next morning. So to have a good immune system functioning the next day, it is advised that we have at least six hours of quality sleep the day before. These are the five things that I've been doing almost every single day ever since the pandemic started to keep my immune system good. Going. So feel free to use them and see how it works out for you at home. One thing the pandemic has taught me is that the health is of paramount importance and nothing else is above it. So if you are interested in aging healthily to add more quality years to your life, check out this video that I've made. These key habits are known to increase your lifespan by at least 10 years. So till then, take care, stay safe, bye bye.